In today's video, Fortnite added the most OP gun to ever enter the game. It's called the Lock-On Pistol, and it's actually insane. You literally just have to hover over a person and it instantly kills them. It's amazing. Let's get into the video. We're gonna land at Mega City because I feel like Mega City always has the new guns and always has this awesome stuff that you can totally get if you just land here. What we're gonna do is obviously try to find the gun first, but if we don't, we're allowed to kill people with any gun we want, and it's not pistols only. It's literally just to showcase how awesome this gun is. And this guy has elite accuracy and is hitting me from a building? Come on. Who is this guy? Is he freaking the best player in the world or something? Huh? Huh? We're gonna drop down. Obviously, we're gonna try to get the best gameplay we possibly can and secure a dub, possibly? So, I don't know how long it'll take before I actually find this pistol, but when we do find it, we're gonna try to use it the majority of the game. So let's just kind of fast forward until we actually find it or until we get a few kills. Well, there's definitely a guy in here and he's definitely shooting at me and I have some pretty good loot now. You know what we're gonna do actually? I think we're gonna shoot this wall. Yeah, now spray this guy down with the SMG. Yes, let's get him. Get back here, little man. Boom, boom. Wait, did he drop the pistol for me? Totally take the lock on pistol because we actually just found it. Now, we need to put this thing to use. I believe it actually has four bullets that shoot at once if you lock onto somebody. And there's somebody coming, so let's go ahead and see. We got four bullets locked. Oh my gosh, guys, we hit him for 80. We have for 90. Oh my God, this pistol is amazing. Epic is definitely gonna nerf this pistol. This totally makes up for them adding the freaking Thunder Spears because that is probably the worst item that has ever been added. And now Fortnite just added the best item in the world. I'm sure they did that on purpose just so they could cancel it out. We're gonna try to get some more awesome and epic kills with this lock on pistol because this thing is actually insane. I mean, it literally has auto aim. But well, we're gonna rail around and see if we can find anybody else to kill because if we can, that'll be freaking awesome. Now, I see somebody possibly railing around, but honestly, I'm not sure where he is. Oh my gosh, he's literally shooting at me now. What the heck? Yes, 85. Oh, the trees. Let's go. Where's this guy at? Uh-oh, uh-oh, back up, back up. Boom, they only got two more shots. What? Boom, oh, finish him with the shotgun. He is totally dead. Oh my gosh, guys. This pistol is absolutely, unbelievably the best gun that has ever entered into Fortnite. We're gonna try to get some high ground. Maybe people, maybe peek another snipe, but he's totally coming our way. So let's bust out the auto aim pistol and absolutely just shred this guy when he walks up here. Already 90 damage. Hit him with the 113 on the way down. And you're dead. Un freaking believable if you are not carrying the lock-on pistol in your inventory while you play fortnite you're doing something wrong look at this scene oh my gosh this is this is absolutely beautiful call me off guard how beautiful this game is so what i'm gonna do is see if we can lock onto the bosses and we can it also looks like the bullets low-key curve a little bit which is kind of cool because when they curve you know what that means they ain't straight. Bruh, 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 bruh. All right, we just killed the boss, which means we have his key card now. And I gotta be cautious because I always feel like somebody's totally lurking when you kill the boss. They're just waiting for you to do it. Strike at their exact moment and take all the good loot. That has happened before and it will not happen again. Never. No. We're getting this loot because I want to win this game. Now let's watch this corner. Nope. Now hide behind the wall and exotic grab back. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get a better shotgun anyway, so sorry. Our loadout is absolutely, unbelievably amazing. I'm super excited to see what this pistol can do. And maybe we could even get a kill without the auto aim and how this pistol actually operates. Now, there is a guy next to us. And is he gonna shoot our car? Yep, actually, why would he not shoot our car? Well, regardless, if this guy comes at us, we have an auto aiming pistol and we have a mythic shotgun. You know how I feel about our mythics. I freaking love mythic loot. Now, where is this guy at? He's zip lining up. He's totally zip lining up, guys. We're gonna absolutely just destroy this guy with the shotgun and obliterated him in two pumps. <laughs> Enhanced Havoc shotgun, you do too much, man. I'm gonna take the chance and go get a sword right now because I just feel like a sword is better to have than a sniper rifle. I mean, I love the snipers and all. Having some sort of mobility is gonna absolutely completely change how this game is played. And I just think it's more essential than having a sniper rifle. I think the katana is 100% better than the ODM gear. Yeah, it might be mythic and all, but it's so good to have a sword because if you get hit, you don't actually get canceled. And you 
can keep running away. Let's go, baby. We got a blue sword. Obviously, a purple is better because we get three takes, but a blue sword is way better than having a purple sniper at this point, just for the sole reason that we can actually move around the map. And you're gonna get more kills. Let's try and go get some more kills with this awesome new pistol because this thing is honestly gonna change Fortnite entirely. If they make one gun with auto aim, they're gonna make more and they're gonna be even better than this pistol. This is almost just a test to see how the Fortnite community takes it. And honestly, I freaking love it. I think it's such a cool idea. It's not that hard to avoid. All you have to do is just get behind a structure or stay out of range so it doesn't target onto you. For example, right here, I can't hit him because he's out of range, but we can totally shoot the pistol and it looks like the bullets curve. Do I have to like calculate the curve with this gun? Very odd pistol. You have to be pretty close for it to target on. Oh, it looks like this is about the range. I don't know how far that is. Maybe like 30, 40 meters. Well, luckily it was a bot and that was a prime example of how this pistol is used. And it's actually super good. And honestly, it's overpowered in some sense, but at the same time, it's quite balanced. Being far enough away where it doesn't lock onto you and you can just get behind a structure if you've been targeted. I'm sure there should be some rarity variant where if it's upgraded, you can hit like five bullets instead of four or six or seven now that would be absolutely awesome i'm gonna predict sometime in the future they're gonna totally add a sniper with the same features so if you kind of just aim around the area it's gonna do like 100 plus damage now that is actually gonna be overpowered but for now we just have this pistol and it's so good Hey, get back here, sir. Sir. Oh, he has the ODM gear. No, oh, I can't hit him. There's no way I'm going to hit him and cancel his ODM. With this pistol, I think it can almost act as a way of like sensing if someone's in a bush or not. I mean, I don't know, but if I aim it at a bush, does it lock on two people in the bush? But I'm going to say it does. This is also a very good way of finding out if someone's in a bush or possibly even a tree. If you have no idea where someone went. So I'm going to surveil the area, see if this guy's hiding in a tree, and I don't see anything popping up on the little like bars. So we're going to continue moving forward and see if we can possibly find this guy or catch him off guard in some other location. There's a purple sword here, so let's totally pick up this katana and now we have a way better loadout and i'm feeling totally confident about winning this game we're getting shot at but i don't know where from where where is that from where is it from okay there's a guy over here maybe we can get a few shots off with the awesome pistol nice oh we're getting sniped at oh he's so weak go get him come on we want to get the pistol kill here how freaking awesome is that? This pistol is so freaking cool. It's especially really good for people with the kinetic blade because when they kinetic blade away, there's like a brief second where you can actually get a few shots off even if they go away. So yeah, if you need to finish off someone quickly and have really bad accuracy like me, then you should totally use this awesome auto-aiming pistol. Now there's a lot of guys here, but we gotta play this quite cautiously because there's only four enemies left and I'd rather just not take any chances and dying in some stupid way. All right, guys, the storm is shrinking as we speak and i need to move towards a way better spot okay let's get towards this castle let's get to this castle let's get to this castle oh please please oh throw the grenades i feel like polar patroller chucking nades aimlessly i hear bullets and i hear shots and i think i can intervene this fight and possibly get a kill and eliminate someone who's probably better at the game than me we're totally making our move oh no 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 get him with the pistol oh we canceled his odm with the pistol go get him go get him go get him Nice, let's go. And he had a crown for us. Okay, guys, is this seriously gonna be a crown royale too? Oh, this game can't get any better. We would break 10 kills if we win this game. Hello, where are you? All right, guys, this is an insane 1v1 situation right now. Don't wanna freaking die to this guy because if we die, then we totally don't get a clutch win. I just don't know where he is and I don't wanna peek out and get freaking shot or sniped by this awesome guy because I think this guy's super cool and I also think he's super good at the game. We saw him, he's at the very tippy top of this place. Totally got high ground on us. We honestly just have to play the circle right and stay in this building until the circle favors some other place where we both have to move and I can use this katana and get the crap out of this area. We're going up. We're going up. Shoot him once. No, we missed. Oh, God. I don't know where he is. I have no idea where he is. Let's get to this clock tower. Oh, oh. oh that sucks. Okay. Auto aiming pistol. Hey, we hit him for like 40 damage. That's pretty good, right? No, we missed a shotgun again. Auto aim pistol. We hit him 40. Can we hit him again? Hit him 19. Hit him 40. He's got to be low key weak. Oh, what the? Oh, he cannot have much health. How does he have so much health? 
Let's go! We got a dub with the freaking awesome auto-aiming pistol. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to suck that subscribe and link up with the like. Cicada plays out.